This is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. I'd like to say welcome to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is mostly all about crochet. Well, today I am drinking out of, let's see, it's let, let Your Dreams Blossom. And I am drinking just regular, uh, maybe, I think it may be Folgers or Maxwell House. I'm not sure. Black coffee. Mmm. <laughs> First sip of the day. Mmm. Very, very good. Well, today is Whip Caddy Wednesday, and that's where I get to show off all the wonderful projects that you guys are working on. What all you got in your whip cart? I've got my whip cart right here. Um, it is, I'm using my black one, um, working out of my black one right now. And so if I can think of it, I'll take a picture um, and maybe include it in the slide. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, um, Today is Whip Caddy Wednesday, and like I said, it is one of my favorite videos that I get to do during the week uh, because I get to do it for you guys. So, um, I tell you what, let's see what all you guys have on your carts. I'm just going to sit back and drink some coffee while we watch the um, little slideshow of all your beautiful projects, and thank you guys for inspiring us. Okay, first we have Amy's cart. And um, she says on the top is the berry wrap, which is my pattern from the magazine. Thank you so much for making that, Amy. I appreciate that. And it's being made with Premier Yarn Vintage. The greens are for a monster leaf wall hanging from heart hook home using Big Twist. The middle is uh, my essential cardigan using Line Brand Pound of Love. And I'm so excited that you're making that. Um, as well as yarn for mini boho wall hanging by Days Crochet and Knit using Line Brand Hometown. And the bottom shelf is the Lacy Mesh Shawl from Annie's Kit Club using their yarn in black, pink, and burgundy. I love Annie's Kit Clubs. Thank you, Amy, so much for sharing that with us. Now, here we have Kathy's cart. She says that on the um, caddy top are two squares called the Tidal Moon Square from Fiber Flux with a combination of Big Twist and Red Heart Super Saver. And she's planning on making it into a tote bag, possibly with the lining. Well, that sounds really cool. Uh, the bottom shelf left is your pocket shawl made with Red Heart Haggy yarn in the color Eclipse. Oh, and thank you so much for making that. I appreciate that. I hope you're loving that as much as I love putting that together for you guys. Um, it has metallic thread in it. The bottom right is the Genzi blanket from Annie's Crochet that she's still working on with I Love This Yarn in Ivory. And hanging on the side is her March Basket and her Snapping Turtle, a pattern from Jada and Stitches. And let's see, she says that, um, oh yeah, and the picture that I include on the right-hand side is done with Burnett Baby Velvet. It's a velvet throw from Daisy Farm Crafts. Um, and I just wanted to include that because it is just beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing that. So here we have Sue Ann. This is what she's working on. She's working on a pattern that I've put out called the Ugly Scrap Throw. And she said she started to make the throw, then decided to make a cover for her queen size bed. And so she's making 96 triangles. She says she has colors stacked in four each, but will mix up the colors. And so far she's got just over 70 made. Sue Ann, I'm so proud of you. They are beautiful and please keep us updated on uh, the progress of this on the Facebook group page and in my weekly Whip Caddy Wednesdays. I look forward to seeing this. So here we have Julie's cart. She says that the top shelf has a hanging sloth basket, the middle shelf has the knitted temperature blanket for March, and the bottom shelf has a small shell sock, a moss stitch shawl, and a basket that she's making using grocery bags. The basket on the floor has her year-long temperature scarf. She does include links to the patterns on the Facebook group page and to her Whip Wednesday where she talks about her project. So go check that out on the Facebook group page. So now we have Kelly's Whip Cart. She says that on the right, she has two marshmallow bunnies along with Ballerina Mouse, which, oh my gosh, they are super adorable. She has the Easter Kitchen Towel Toppers, which I have a pattern on that. You guys can check that out. Um, she has washcloths and slippers ready for the next pink slipper project challenge. The towel toppers, washcloths, and slippers are all my patterns. So thank you so much, Kelly, for, um, you know, making projects from my patterns. I appreciate that. And oh my gosh, everything is just beautiful. 
And she does leave links to the Marshmallow Bunny and the Ballerina Mouse in the, on her uh, Facebook on the Facebook group page. Now here we have Holly's card, and this is her first Whip Caddy. I'm so excited for you, Holly, and I'm so excited of your beautiful projects that you have here. Um, on the top, she has Peggy the Hippopotamus from the Pickapoo Three book, which I love that book. I love all three of them, and uh, my goodness, that hippopotamus is gorgeous. And she has three prayer shawls using my berry wrap pattern, and I'm so excited. Thank you so much for sharing that, and the colors are just beautiful. Now here we have Patsy's cart. Patsy says that the top shelf has notions and patterns. The middle shelf has Forever Yours Blanket by Patty Kubitsky, which is a paid pattern on Etsy. The third shelf are Bibles, books, and large baggies for storing yarn. Front basket is yarn for bow cozies, and she's using a tutorial on YouTube by the Crochet Architect. The back basket is yarn for the April basket, and pattern is YouTube tutorial by me. <laughs> and she says, have a blessed week and give thanks for spring. Um, thank you for sharing, Patsy. Everything is just beautiful, and I love the pink yarn. Mmm, that was so good. Okay, um, I love the inspiration. I love all the beautiful projects. You guys are amazing, just amazing. Well, um, as you know, I have reached my 25K thanks to you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Well, I do have a giveaway and I have the video already made and um, I will be posting it tomorrow. So be sure and um, look for that video. It'll, I believe it'll just say 25K giveaway, maybe <laughs> something like that. So yeah, just be sure and look for that. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. And yesterday was my sister Tanya's birthday. So happy birthday, Tanya. I made her a special little video and I thank you guys so much for uh, coming here on that and telling her happy birthday and stuff that was really sweet so thank you guys so much all right let's see what i have first of all i'm still working on the racetrack rug and i'm working out of my march basket for the mm, yearly monthly crochet along all, well year long monthly basket crochet along i think that's it <laughs> anyway that's what i'm working on but look what my black did yeah yeah it's uh it's pretty bad but i do have i made sure that i kept my strand i'm working on right here i tried stuffing it back in there but that's about as much as i could get in there it's just uh it don't want to go but um mm. so anyway that's what i'm working on is i'm working rather working out of is my march basket and so let me show you the rug. So I'm hoping I can get this. I I have the rug rolled up like this. So. <laughs> mm. I had my spring green all tied up in there. But this is what I've gotten so far. So it is a free pattern, and I will leave the link, uh, link below. I believe it's ekayg.com, and you just can type in racetrack rug. But you can also go in my look in my description box below, and I will have the link to it. So you can just click on the link. So this is coming out really nice. I'm really enjoying this, and I believe my grandson will enjoy it as well. <laughs> All right, so um, on spring break, when I went out of town, um, sometimes early in the morning, not late in the evening, but early in the morning while I was drinking my coffee and waiting for everyone to get around, I kind of worked on this little crochet, I mean, this little corner to corner and blank working here. out of this little bag right here that was given to me, and so which I appreciate very much. The yarn is Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. That I'm working with 482 yards and the color is scuba so thank you so much for this bag I love this bag and I'm going on another trip pretty soon and I will be taking this bag with me again but yes I'm using an H hook so let's see how much I've gotten done on that let's see okay there we go 
that's it. Um, this is two skeins, I believe, so far. Yeah, and it is so far, yeah. so far it is, it's not even a whole width, um, span width, as you could say. Okay, so it goes to here. It goes from one, the tips of my fingers to right here. Oh, let's see, there we go. Oops, I'm trying to keep my head in the sun to right there. So anyway, it's, I guess I could do it this way. That way you guys can see it. If I spread it out. There we go, it goes to right there. So I want it, if possible, to go all the way. And that way it would be that big. <laughs> Anyway, that's what I'm looking forward to um, getting done. But here it is up close. It's just corner to corner. I do have some tutorials on my channel here. If you guys are interested in making something tutor uh, corner to corner, a blanket, a hot pad, or whatever, it's still the same. So I am still planning on doing a stitch of, I haven't decided if I'm going to do stitch of the week, stitch of every other week, or maybe stitch of the month but I am looking forward to doing that. Um, I do have several stitch pattern books that I will be working out of uh, to pull them from. And um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. I hope you guys are too. Let's go ahead and do our Be Still and No Devotion. Rolled away. When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had been rolled away. You are looking for Jesus, the Nazarene, who is crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. Mark 16, 4. Most of us know that Jesus was raised from the dead. Whenever we hear it, we know it to be part of the story of Jesus. But have we ever really meditated on the truth of this statement? Jesus was raised from the dead. Certainly, he can be trusted with our lives. Many times we doubt God's love for us. We cast him aside and try to do it all ourselves. We doubt his truth and his healing power. We don't think we can do everything through his strength. Yet in the same breath, we easily accept that Jesus died and rose again. If he can do that, our trials can be overcome. Thank you for the reminder, Jesus, that the stone was rolled away. I believe it, and I believe that all of your promises are true. You love me. I can trust you with all the details that I have been trying to control. Hey guys, I hope you enjoy that as much as I have enjoyed putting that on. Another thing that I'm looking at doing, and this is from, with, from Crystal, a pattern from Crystal, from Chronically Crocheting, and it is to make this frog. It is a paid pattern on Etsy. I'll leave the link below. Here we go. It's just adorable. And look on the back side. So I'm pretty excited to make this. And thank you, Crystal, so much for this pattern. I'm really looking forward to making this. I just need to make sure I have some more spring green <laughs> because this, um, mm, this racetrack rug is taking up all my spring green. And I really like this frog being done in that spring green color. So I've got to see what I've got in my stock in there. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Uh, like I said, tomorrow is the 25K giveaway, which I am so excited. As you can tell, I can't quit smiling. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, I just love you guys so much. And the support and the love that you guys give me is just beyond words. Anyway, so I look forward to that video tomorrow. This is all that I have for this video. Just remember to live life and to have fun. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.